when people meet you on the street, when they work with you in the office, what do they see as your world view? What is your attitude in life? What was the attitude of the Lord Jesus? He sang on the way to the Garden of Gethsemane. He gave thanks for the bread and wine. He had joy on the way to the cross. For the joy that was set before him, he endured the cross. When we moved into our first home in St. Catharines, there was a house next to ours, and uh, a couple there, they seemed very nice, but you know, whenever I tried to speak to them about the Lord Jesus, he'd always hear the phone ringing. I've got good ears, but I couldn't hear it. And away you go. I was trying to paint the um, the eaves trough, the gutter. And I'd come home for a couple of days, and I'd scrape about this much, and then I'd go away again and come home. And, and I said to Louise, you know, if we're going to get this done before the millennium, I think we're going to have to get somebody to help us. So there was a young fellow in our assembly who was out of a job, and I asked him if he'd like to paint the place for a price, and he came around and said he'd do it. He went away for some meetings. Came back. And uh, he finished the job. And as I pulled in the driveway, our neighbor almost ran over to the car. Didn't say hello, how was the trip? He just said, who was that guy you had working for you? He said, you know, he would arrive every morning at 8.30. And he'd get to work, and he'd work till lunch, and then he'd get out his lunch, and he'd bow his head and say grace, and then he'd eat his lunch, and he'd read a Bible. And then when his lunch was done, he'd put away his stuff, he'd get back to work, he worked till 5 o'clock, he'd clean up the mess, and he'd go home. And he did that every day. Now, as I shared the gospel with that man, I could tell the wall was up, and he wasn't interested. And his wife was standing beside him, listening to every word. She went home. She called Louise on the phone. She said, we've been having real marital problems. I don't know if the marriage is going to hold. I need something that's for sure. And Louise led her to the Lord Jesus right on the phone. A week later, she called up and said, I feel so ashamed. I've been saved a whole week, and I've only read the Old Testament once and the New Testament twice. And Louise said, well, don't be discouraged. Keep at it. <laughs> and two weeks later, we were at her funeral. She didn't know it. She was full of cancer. Three weeks after she was saved, she was in heaven. And why? A young man faithfully serving God by doing a good job painting my house spoke to them more than anything I could say. Hey, listen, they're watching you. The world is watching you. 